Hi everyone. Especially during the Baroque era, composers, along with using the more common descending chains of suspensions, also used ascending suspension chains. With both ascending and descending types, the suspension typically resolves downwards. However, with ascending suspension chains, each suspension and resolution is higher than the previous. Descending suspension chains also typically occur in a single part, while the ascending variety characteristically occurs between two parts. The following excerpt from Corelli's Concerto Grosso No. 8 contains both types. Through these bars, an ascending suspension chain is found between the two violins of the concertante, while a descending chain appears only in the second violin part. As in this example, to begin an ascending suspension chain, one part must prepare the initial suspension while the other part plays a chord degree above it. Here the initial suspension is formed in the first violin, while the second violin sounds the chord degree a harmonic second above. When the suspension resolves, the harmonic second interval expands to a third, which is one of the key characteristics of these suspension types. The chord note in the second violin is then held to create the following suspension, while the resolution of the initial suspension in the first violin leaps a fourth to sound a harmonic second above the new suspension. The pattern is then repeated for whatever duration is desired. Ascending suspension chains are possible over different chord progressions, however, whatever underlying progression is chosen must accommodate the ascending pattern and the allowable upper suspension types such as 9, 8, 7, 6 or 4, 3 or their variants. In this Corelli example, the harmony outlines two 2, 5, 1 progressions, one in G minor and another in B flat major, and the first violin moves in a series of 7, 3 suspensions, a variant of 7-6 caused by the root position harmony under the resolution, while the second violin uses 9-8 suspensions. In other words, the root movement of this progression moves in a series of fourths or fifths. Similarly, in the opening of Pergolasi's Stabat Mater, the progression underpinning the ascending suspension chain contains root movement of a fourth or fifth, which are then connected by root movement of a second. Here the suspension chain is also formed between two violins, the first moving as a series of 9-8 suspensions and the second as a series of 4-3 suspensions. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.